hi children and viewers in this video i am going to explain one of the interesting topic that should be in the chapter of motion in a straight line in our textbook the topic is mentioned as the short answer question number 6 so this question is asked so many times in public examinations that's why it is very 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 important topic children my request is kindly watch the video up to last so children without any late i am going to the topic children on board it is there problem is there so first you have to read the problem carefully a man run across the roof of a building and jumps horizontally onto the roof of an adjacent building if his speed is 9 meter per second speed is 9 meter per second and the horizontal distance between the buildings is 10 meters and height difference between the roof is 9 meters will he able to land on the next building take g is equals to 10 meter per second square take g is equals to 10 meter per second square that is the problem children so for you i am reading one more time a man run across the roof of a building and jumps horizontally onto the lower roof of an adjacent building if his speed is 9 meter per second and the horizontal distance between the buildings is 10 meters and height difference between the roof is 9 meters will he able to land the next building take g is equals to 10 meter per second square the problem what it is mentioned that should be generally we will find in movies during the five scenes the hero and villain should be jumps from one building to the another building like that here situation also same thing here so what you are saying a man run across the roof of a building so one man is running on the roof of a building so here so i am drawing the situation here this is the one tall building here now got you learn so this is the ground just imagine so on this one man is running on the top clear and a man running across the roof of a building and jumps horizontally onto the roof of a adjacent building from that he was jumped onto the next building so this is the next building here so that is lower roof that means the height of the second building must be less than the first one clear so he was jumping like this clear so and children here roof of an adjacent building if his speed is 9 meter per second what is speed here 9 meter per second and the horizontal distance between the buildings is 10 meters so this is the horizontal distance between the two buildings this is the first building and this is the second building that is what 10 meters and if his speed is 9 meter per second and the horizontal distance between the buildings is 10 meters and height difference between the buildings is 9 meters so here i am showing this is the difference between height 9 i am saying that is 9 meters height it was given so this is the height difference this is the height difference between two buildings and height difference between the roof is 9 meters will he able to land on the next building so that's the question children so one boy or one person is running on a roof of a building and he was wants to jump onto the next building the speed of 9 meter per second if he can jumps with the 9 meter per second then he was able to safely land on the next building or not or he can fall in between the two buildings or not we have to check so children he was what was the given close here the height difference is what 9 meters I difference is what 9 meters and distance between the two buildings is what 10 meters so when he was jumps with the speed of 9 meter per second whether he was able to land on the next building or not we have to check we have to check it children so to understand that children here first we have to know about the two things here so children there is some space required for us that's why I'm raising this problem okay children so here you have to know um, must be no to the time of flight 
first thing how to know about the first thing is here what is time of flight and here time of flight is nothing but time of descent time of descent and second thing is this is the horizontal position of the body from certain height horizontal projection and third one you must know about the range what is the range clear a range is nothing but product of initial velocity and horizontal distance covered in the air clear that is what here range is nothing but range is equals to u into here nothing but r is equals to u into i am writing nothing but here time of flight horizontal distance covered in particular time the product of horizontal velocity into total time spent by the person in the air that should be taken as time of flight so product of u and t that should be called here range the horizontal distance covered is called nothing but range that is nothing but here product of initial velocity and time of flight what is range means the total distance covered for example here here to here that is now range the total time the total distance covered in horizontally when the boy is or when the person is in the air when the person jumps from one to the another building then how much total distance traveled by the person should be called here range so generally what we write velocity is equals what right velocity is equals to displacement by time velocity is equals to displacement by time then what we write s is equals to v into t v into t like that same thing here this is what displacement travel so that here in this situation what we call that is range clear what is range the horizontal distance travel while the body is in the air so that is from here to here so next children here and u is the initial velocity and time of flight time of flight so children time of flight is nothing but here the time taken by the body the new person the time taken by the person when he was jumps from one building to the another building the time taken by the boy or person to reach the other building from the first building the total time spent by the person in air in its motion that should be called time of flight time of flight the total time spent by the body in air during its motion that should be called time of flight generally we will call time of flight nothing but time of ascent and time of descent so in this case it is coming from high to down that's why we have only time of descent time of descent should be taken as now here time of flight time of flight got my point children here when the body is coming from maximum height to the ground or some other horizontal space that is what we call time of descent when we are moving from horizontal surface to the some maximum height that is time of ascent in this case only we are observing that the boy the person is jumping from height to the some ground or means some other ground ground it is what next building so that's why here time of descent in this case time of descent should be equals to the time of flight so children in this entire thing you have to remember three points what is range range is the horizontal distance traveled by the body when the body is in air simply it is defined as product of initial velocity and time of flight and what is time of flight time of flight is nothing but the total time spent by the body in air that should be called time of flight clear and now children now i am going to talk here now so we are going to the check it now whether he was able to land on the building or not so for that so he was given what is that distance between two buildings distance between two buildings two buildings that is what 10 meters he was given clear and height difference height difference between two buildings height difference between two buildings nothing but it is height traveled by the or distance traveled by the body that is here h that is what how much he was given 9 meters clear and next thing here initial velocity what is that 9 meter per second 9 meter per second and now what you have to find out we have to find out the time of flight 
and now we have to find out the range clear children so general we have to think about this one the distance between what is that two buildings is 10 meters when he was jumps more than 10 meters more than 10 meters or 10.1 10.2 some other meters when the distance between 10 meters is between two buildings if you can jump see more than the 10 meters then only the person will reaches the or safely landing on the next building if for example if he can jump only 9 meters then he must be falls in between these two buildings clear that's why here the range must be more than the 10 meters then only the person will be safely land on the next building if range is less than 9 meters or 8 meters or 5 meters like that then he must be fall in between the two buildings so we have to check the values equals to 10 now are more than 10 or less than 10 that is the problem given for us clear children so children here generally the time of flight formula is here t is equal to under root of 2h by g so we will derive from the equation of s is equal to ut plus of a d square so when he was jumps horizontally then automatically after he was treated as a freely falling body that's why here the vertical velocity is zero that's why here we will take h is equal to of g d square h is equal to of g d square in this case u is zero the height should be considered with respect of y axis when children no need to confess when the person is jumps like this 9 meter per second it is a horizontal velocity but there is no velocity at this point in vertical direction and what i am telling the height difference is nothing but here distance traveled by the person vertical distance how much it is 9 meters that's why here h is equals to of g d square we will take and that h value is in this case that is what 9 meters and of g into 10 t square like that so from that here from the equation what we get t square is equals to 2 h by g and t is equals to under root of 2 h by g in this manner we will get the time of flight equation in this case clear so you don't go further simply we have formula is there t is equal to under of 2h by g that is here it is 2 into h value is what difference between heights what it is 9 meters is the vertical height and g is what you are taking 10 then what did the children it is 18 by 10 that is where i t is equal to 1.8 its value is 1.341 children 1.341 seconds and children now what you have to find range r is equals to u into t u value is what 9 9 into 3.41 9 into 3.41 so 1.341 into 9 9 ones are 9 9 fours are 36 and 9 threes are 27 plus 3 30 and 9 ones are 9 and that is 12.06 so then what do you get r is equals to 12.069 meters so that's why children so he was jumping from one building to the another building up to what distance 12.069 meters that's why he can safely land on the next one clear so he was not falling in between the two buildings so in this way we will find out the range clear children so that is the given solution for the given situation so i hope you understand we will meet in the next video with some other interesting topic bye take care